Hello everybody, welcome to another video of Andrew and Nicole. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you how to upgrade your old laptop with an SSD. Now, sorry it's been a while since I made a, uh, my last video. It's, we've been busy with a lot of work and stuff. Okay, so just a little bit of backstory. Now, my dad, uh, the, the owner of this laptop, the Asus laptop that I have here, uh, has been complaining a lot uh, that the programs are loading very slow. The operating system has been unresponsive. And he was asking me what should be what should we do to make this laptop feel better or feel like new so i recommended to install an ssd because in this laptop he is still using an old one terabyte uh, mechanical hard drive now as you know in mechanical hard drives are considered uh, mass storage but they are very very slow so uh, we, we, i decided to offer him why not buy an ssd like this one Okay, this is a Kingston A400 SSD M.2 uh, form factor. Now, initially, I thought that this laptop cannot support an M.2. But lo and behold, upon researching, this laptop really uh, supports this kind of form factor. If your laptop does not support this form factor, you can also actually opt to buy the 2.5-inch uh, SSD drive, the SATA drive. Okay, so... Yeah, for this one, the Kingston A400, we bought this from Lazada from the recent sale. This originally cost 2,600 pesos. And now, because of all the bonus and all the credit card promos, we were able to slash it down to 2,100. So roughly about $40 uh, equivalent in, 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 in US dollars. Okay, so I hope that with this SSD upgrade, my dad's laptop will be more responsive and uh, feel like new. Now. I won't be I, I won't be showing in this video how to reformat it, but after installing, I will be reformatting this laptop with the new Windows 10 uh, to make sure that the operating system is installed in this SSD, not on the one terabyte hard drive we have here. Okay, so this laptop model is the Asus AX407U. This is actually an old model, but this is an entry level laptop, so it doesn't have any flashy graphics uh, in it, but. Uh, for office use, for uh, general you know, Zoom calls or video calls, this is well uh, adequate. Now, the problem here now is it's been so slow and my dad is complaining a lot. So, okay, so let's uh, uh, open up this one and open up this laptop. Now, to install an SSD, of course, you have to have your own tools. So, you have, your, you have to bring your screwdrivers like this one. So, a precision screwdriver, a smaller one. And you have to unscrew all the visible screws here. I, as you notice, all the screws have been removed because I already pre-unscrew uh, un them, okay, for easier video. And you have to open them up like this one, okay. So, so I already opened, and you have to open like this one, okay. So as you can see, there are several wires in, in, in it. So you, ha you have to carefully unplug all those ribbon cables. Okay, so to, to open the, the, the housing, all you have to do is to put it sideways like this one. And with your screwdriver, like a, a flathead screwdriver, so you just pry open the lowercase carefully okay you might hear a click a sound but do not worry it's just the locking mechanism and you're not breaking anything I hope I didn't break anything okay so let's cut to cut to how to install the SSD okay so after you have removed or un unhinged the cover so you'll be able to see the internals like this one so you have to remove all these ribbons this one this one and this one okay and the, to remove the ribbons is very very simple so you all you have to do is you have to to flip this black portion there's a black portion here okay so with a you, you can use your fingers just on uh, your nail and flip up okay flip up and flip up flip up okay so that way you can remove the ribbon Carefully remove the ribbon. Okay, make sure you do not break the ribbon because that is the connect connector for the keyboard to the system. Okay, so remove. Okay, 
there. So you can remove the whole cover and put it on the side. Okay. So the SSD uh, port is actually located here. Okay, here. Okay. So this is the uh, CPU, most likely. These are the batteries. Okay. This is the hard drive. Okay. So normally in your own laptop, you might be able to upgrade your your old 2.5. Mechanical spinning hard drive with an SSD. Doing so, with, you have to remove this one and unscrew everything. But since this laptop, the ASUS uh, X407U, has a free S M.2 SATA port available, so we bought the Kingston as mentioned. Okay, the SSD is 10 times faster than mechanical hard drives, more roughly 10 times faster. This can uh, read and write about 500 megabytes per second or megabits per second tama? or megabytes per second okay so to install that you just have to align okay you have to make sure this is the, the this kingston so you have to uh, plug it here okay so in this laptop this is the m.2 sata port so you can you can see that there are connections over there so what you can do is you get your your ssd and you install it like this one like this make sure it's inserted properly okay okay and we can screw it So uh, screw it. So make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, and we return the we return the the cover once again. Okay, so like this. Okay, so let me just so. So this is the way to do it. You have to insert it here. Yeah. So once you insert it, make sure to lock it okay, by pressing down the black button. And we have the next one. Okay, so it's So I think uh, we installed it properly now. So let's make sure it's locked. Okay. Now we will test it out and see if the SSD is recognized. Okay. So turn it on again. So right now it's still booting up using the one terabyte hard drive. So we're gonna see if the Windows was able to recognize the M.2 SATA drive. Now, if it's recognized, then we can proceed to reformat the the uh, SSD. Okay, so this is the actual boot up time of the SATA. Ah, sorry, SATA hard drive, the mechanical hard drive. So see how long it will take to boot. Two hours later. Okay, so after we finally boot it up. Uh, the very very slow one terabyte mechanical drive we finally arrived to the desktop and as you can see uh, my windows I already configured the SSD to be in drive D but currently it's still booting at drive C okay so uh, the, the time to boot up to the windows takes three to four minutes just to get here so uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try to reformat this one and use the SSD as the boot drive hopefully it will improve a lot now in case once you don't want to do that and you just want to use the SSD uh, m.2 as a backup drive you can do so just leave it as is now in case you're not seeing this one uh, in your my computer all you have to do is make sure you go to your disk management okay to go to go there and you have to right click on my computer 
and click manage okay and you will be able to see this one and you will see the the Kingston on here and you can click format okay or it will prompt you there's a wizard that will come out and it will prompt you to to reformat it and that way you can use it as a storage drive I already saved a, a, a file here temporary te te test file so it's working so in, in the task manager you can also see that my drive this one is the Kingston and this is the this zero the the built-in uh, one terabyte hard drive as you can see it's hundred percent utilizing I don't know why it's utilizing hundred percent I'm not even running anything okay so I was checking the processes okay so it looks like the Windows update and everything uh, is trying to bug down the system okay so there you have it guys the simple update or simple upgrade of your laptop and I'll try to install Windows and we'll be back shortly for the Windows setup okay so after you have uh, created that USB bootable Windows uh, key or drive you can plug it in and you can go to the ASUS laptop motherboard uh, BIOS screen to do that all you have to do is press F2 okay when you power on so when you when you enter the BIOS screen this is what it will look like now you can check if the SSD was uh, properly recognized through here you can go to the advanced mode and look at the uh, SATA so you have SATA 0 which is the hard drive and SATA 2 which is the Kingston SA400 that we recently installed okay so we're gonna do HCI for now and we're gonna try to boot using the USB drive okay so hopefully and we disable this one okay and hopefully it will enter the the USB drive configuration okay so I think we are able to enter to the Windows uh, Windows setup screen okay so this is very straightforward the usual Windows installation you can check out my previous videos on Windows installation so I'll just skip ahead and show you the uh, after the Windows installation okay uh, or, or if you want to stick around you can just watch me do the installation okay so this is the uh, setup screen so install so we do custom and we're gonna take a look at the we're gonna use the Kingston as our installation media okay so we're gonna uh, use this one okay next okay so it's now install, installing into the Kingston SSD, M.2 SSD. I have a pen drive here installed. Okay, so there. And we're back. So after uh, installing the SSD, installing the Windows operating system, and I did some uh, updating of the Windows operating system. It's finally finished and let's take a look on how fast the difference between the SSD and the hard drive. Remember, the hard drive when we booted a few moments ago, it was uh, 3 minutes to load to the Windows screen. But let's see how fast this one will be. I'll turn it on. I'm now in the Windows uh, desktop screen so when, when when you're using a hard drive it will take you much longer than that so this laptop with the SSD upgrade feels snappier and more responsive it feels like new of course this is a newly reformatted Windows it will come a time it will slow down a little bit but of course it will not be as slow as a hard drive 
So if you're looking to upgrade your old laptops that's still running on hard disk or mechanical hard drives, please uh, you know, do yourself a favor and install an SSD. It may be an M.2 uh, form factor or a 2.5 inch SSD form factor, but don't use mechanical hard drives anymore for your boot drive. Uh, you can use it for your mass storage, say movies, files that you don't easily uh, uh, don't use all the time. But for boot uh, uh, your operating system, it's a must nowadays to use SSD. So that's a number one pro tip. Now there could have been better upgrades for this one. If I am given opportunity, we could also upgrade the memory. Uh, the RAM of this laptop is only four gigabytes. So right now the standard, I think minimum for an office uh, use or a, a, a uh, content consumption laptop, it should be eight gigabytes anymore. Now this still works. Now I did some testing. The, the memory is already at 50, uh, 50, 50 to 70% utilization if you open a lot of uh, Chrome browsers. But if you want to multitask with many, many more apps running at the same time, it will of course bottleneck the memory. Okay, but the SSD is the number one upgrade that you can use or install in this laptop. Okay, so from, from uh, minutes to seconds to boot up. Okay, so I'll link the SSD down in the description below, the Kingston A400 SSD M.2 form factor. If you want to buy it, I'll put the Lazada links and the, and the Shopee links downstairs. And of course, I'll, I'll put all the, the specs of the laptop. So you also want to check this out. This is an old laptop actually. So just in case you want to check it out. But uh, again, uh, do yourself a favor, use SSD. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. All the uh, description and links will be down in the description. So see you guys next time. Bye-bye.